So the flow of the Maimir <coughs> is all explaining the Echad. So explaining Echad, till now he said that Echad is the union of Chachma. Aleph is Chachma. Chachma Stima, Chachma Gluya, two levels of Chachma. Alefcha, Chachma, Alefcha Bina. Now what he's introducing is that Aleph also includes Bina. That's really where this is all going. And to explain how this is so, so first we had already learned that Chachma and Bina are three rain, the lame is Parshin. Two friends that do not separate. And we learned in, in the middle Oisei of Ois Dalet that there is Chachma and Bina and there's Bina in Chachma, name, namely in Chachma are the details of Bina in a very latent uh, submerged way. So there's Chachma and Bina. And likewise in Bina, in order for Bina to be Bina, it must always remain faithful to the Nakuda that ties together all of the Pratim. But then he added that this also, Bina also has its own source. It, Bina does not, as we would, as we would assume, that Chachma is the mocker of Bina. It's not the mocker of Bina. Bina has its own source in the Kayach Hamask. He brought the Gemara and Shabbos that the river, which is, represents Bina, the expanding river, river Mikifim Yivrach, it actually uh, draws from the bedrock. The expansion itself comes, it's, it's symbolically, not the Gashmi, it's reflective of Bina being rooted in the bedrock itself, not in water per se, but in the source. Yeah. Again, it's not, you said it's not. That Bina comes from Chokma, like we just said. So then the, the Bina in Chokma and the Chokma in Bina is the Bina. And the Chokma we're talking about is the, the Bina of a particular Tvarsefa. Like how uh, the, the contemplative process of a particular uh, idea right. would be in Chokma. So we're saying that Bina is not. We're saying, yeah, what you're saying is, yeah, that this. Basically, it means that the capacity to analyze is not within the, the, the purview of Chachma per se. But on the other hand, once the idea is, you know, this idea forms, which you will analyze in great length, the different levels now coming of the discovery and the development of an idea, at the level of Chachma, Chachma its first definition, although there are three, we'll see, Bina exists there latently. The idea has the potential to manifest in all of these protein. Moreover, the source of Bina cannot be accessed other than through the process of Chachma. I am on Zoom. And am I not? I'm on Zoom. Oh no, it's, this whole thing started. Now they have to actually allow people permission to get on i don't know why it's doing this yeah okay so admit and they hi guys sorry we're trying to fix this official maybe afterwards you can tell me how to do this uh because now anytime someone comes on i have to admit them yeah i know it's uh, well this is a new thing for zoom i have no idea what was the question? Okay, go ahead if you don't mind. Take a seat. Where's your security? See, look, Ravi, look, 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 look for a second. See where it says security there at the bottom? Right at the bottom there? Or yeah. Click on that. You're going to turn off, enable waiting room. Huh? You can't. See, the door. Okay. So, yeah, you, you can't, can't do it. You have to fix it. There's something wrong. So anytime someone gets on, I'll just have to look out for it. All right. 
Okay. You hear me, guys? Yeah. Nod. Oh, hey, nod. She shows a frozen picture. And Chaim's hiding. A text. Or uh huh? Yes, hear you perfectly. Okay, okay, good. All right, so let, let's start again then. We, the point that we're saying. Otherwise, everything that follows, it'll be like we lost in space. The flow of the mind is to explain that. Everything goes back to its source. What does that mean? So the Maimed explained to us that it means that the Abishta's investure in creation that allows creation to know him. That's what Echod is. It's the Mamutza between Yochid and Voed. Echod is Yehudi Ilah. Yochid is not Yehudi Ilah. Yachid is exclusively absolute in the Mavadi. No Yichud or anything other altogether. And we learned previously that for the Abishta that doesn't change. It's not Yichud Yilov for the Abishta. It's, it's Yachid. But the Abishta wants creation to know him. So that's what he withdraws. Which is really the whole, the whole uh, project of creation. The, these two Maimodim are explaining level after level what this Echot, this Memutza is. So, so far we established that in analyzing, looking at the Aleph, that the Aleph is Chochma, Chochma Stuma, Chochma Gluya, as explained at length in the previous, this Maim and the previous Maim. What's coming now is in the middle of a Dalid, that not only is Aleph a reference to Chachma, but also to Bina. How so? How can we say that it at once means both Chachma and Bina? So first he said, because they're inseparable. The Gemara says in Shabbos, Aleph, what's Aleph, Aleph base? Aleph, Bina. Teach understanding. A simple Pshat in the Gemara is that the Allah base calls upon a Jew, not teach him, sorry, learn, to learn Torah, to learn Torah, it's a command, a leif bina, acquire or learn understanding, which is Torah. What the Maimed is saying, the deeper meaning level one is, a leif bina, that Aleph is intrinsically bound up with bina. What does it teach? It teaches bina. So they're inseparable and explain that in Chachma, all the Pratim are there latently, and Bina has the Nekudas HaChachma. If Bina doesn't have the Nekudas HaChachma, then it just goes and it's, it, it, it will corrupt the original idea. It must remain faithful. There's the Nekudas that guides and ever present in the expansion, the analysis of the discovery of the idea. That's one level to explain the interconnectedness between Chachma and Bina. We're clear? But now begins an entirely new beer. And it starts off with kind of, it, it, it's, it was somewhat deceptive. It seems they were just bavarning a question, but it's not bavarning a question. It's introducing a whole new dimension. And that is conventionally, conventionally, this is the Mittler Rebbe is explaining this in Imri Bina. Just so you should know, Imri Bina is probably the most difficult uh, tr tract in Chassidus. The Fidig Rebbe said that uh, some expression in, uh, that he used, I don't recall exactly, but he toiled mightily, his brain, his hair, uh, wrenched, wrenching, wrenching, toil to understand him. This was before he was a Rebbe, whatever, but that. Uh, no, I know I said it's not the story related, they ever wanted. If you read the story, I think it was in the hair. He wanted uh, Emmanuel Shachat Allah Shalom to write a sefer that points to the Chiddush of the Mittel Rebbe, his Chiddushim and Chiddus, and he just you couldn't do it. It was too vast and complex. So it never happened. They ever wanted such a thing. 
At any rate, so this whole thing is based on although there's only one modern book and for all of the things that follow, it's simply been there. So we have to prepare this is very subtle. So let's continue. What we said till now was clear. Chachma bina, there's bina and chachma, chachma and bina. So therefore, all, why is he going into all of this? Because it's going to conclude with that the Aleph, which is the beginning of the Memutza of Echad, that fuses Yichud Yilah, rather Yochid and Voed, includes also bin, and that's withdrawn also. That's all part, part of the Memutza. To be seen later, the Aveda, therefore Rosh Hashanah, which culminates on Sukkot, which this Maim is a Sukkot Maim. So now he says that in addition to their interconnection, the MS is that Bin has its own source in the Kaya Hamaskal. It's not as we conventionally understand that Chokhmah gives birth to Bin. You have an idea, that's the origin. That's the, the, the Tipa. And then the Tipa naturally develops. He said before, once you have the idea, it's mukhrach to develop. Once the idea is grasped by the mind, unless you, you know, you deliberately don't want to go that way, but that's the natural process of the idea then developing, like a seed that grows. So conventionally we understand chachm as a seed and binda as the development of the seed. The seed contains in potential the whole, the whole uh, development that follows thereafter. Not so. Says the Mittler Rebbe that Bin actually has a marker in Kayach HaMaskil independent of Chachm. The caveat is that that's not unlocked unless it, the, the, through the process of Chachm and Bin. Bin cannot exist independently. There's no Bin emerging. I understand that. No idea can. It, it just, it's both irrational. A, a development of, of what? There has to be the seminal idea that, 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 that Bin develops, but the capacity for analysis. This, to understand what this means, but perhaps it means at, at, simply, at least this, that the capacity to analyze and develop is an independent capacity to conceive ideas. And that comes from the Kaya Hamask. And it's, it's, and it's an intellectual capacity. But that development only happens as a result of being makabal from the Nakuda. It's not gonna be a makabal, then in the whole process of development remains unrealized. So this is, it seems, I have to learn further properly, and I, I didn't, but it seems that where is he going with all of this? Therefore, Aleph, Aleph, which, which is the origin, Aleph 1, is, is Chachma and also Bin. Bin is also an Aleph. It's an independent, an independent property of Seichel. What's the point of that? Shoshana, when Echot is withdrawn, as it were, it's not just in the Kudus HaChochma, but also Bina. To be seen later in the Maimah, what does this mean? But the general idea means, of course, that the Abish, what he's saying is that not simply withdraw the vision of creation, if you like, but withdraws the whole, the, the Pratim, the, the whole development, everything is withdrawn at its core level to be summoned forth. This Lachura is where all this is going at the end of the Maimed and the Abed of Rosh Hashanah and therefore Sukkot, which is the Giloy of that. Um, that's our Abed. I can't help thinking, but I've said this Maimed, you know, so we're horrifying on every word over here to some, it's been quite difficult for the, for everybody to follow. It was something that, uh, he hung around later for Chazorah again and again to try and understand what's going on. Okay. So um, let's start with Omnam. That's the bottom of page 29. And if you have a different text, it's the third paragraph of Vais Dalit. Yeah. So Omnam, after Chachma bin him trained in the Lemis Parshin, so even though Chachma and Bina are these two inseparable friends, as we explained before, at this at the a more conscious level in Chachma, the details are there, and likewise in Bina, the Nakud is there. We call Mokrim, nonetheless, Yeshlem Sharoshim Yuchodim B'Kayach Hamaskil. They have independent sources in Kayach Hamaskil. Now I said when we learned this, 
I implied that that bin as a higher shayrish, it could be, but that's not the point he's making here. The point here is simply that they're independent. And therefore, they're both primary. They're both primary. It's not that Chach, bin is born from Chachma. It's as primary as Chachma is, independently. That's the Nakud. And therefore, it's included in Aleph, as we'll see. The source of bin is not from Chachma. Ella Yeshlep, next page, Shoresh Miyuchad Bekechamaskel, it has its own source in the Kechamaskel. But I, Elizabeth, and the indication of this is, Shariroim Shesh Mishubal Amtso, the Inabal Asog. There are people that are creative, but they're not, they're not good, they're not talented in the development of the idea. They have Shumamtsi, it's the Kudas Askola. Even though he is very good in coming up with, with, with original ideas, this is how far this can go. He can't explain it to somebody else. Here's the He himself doesn't understand it in this conscious way. It's more like it's much, it's not intuitive. It is a seichel thing, but it's in between intuition and, and, and rationality. But he can't explain it well to himself. That's one kind of person, very creative, but not good in the development. And then there are people that are very good in breaking things down. They're not original. If you give him an idea, he can explain it to himself well. The gam, in interesting, you give me extreme examples. If a gam is a and has the ability to explain it to others, add the ketanic It's a tremendous talent to bring the children. The very children means even somewhat of a limited intellect. He is able to take this this idea and bring it down and explain it. It's a tremendous chush. This being a person, but he's not blessed with with uh, with the creative faculty ability, although it's there, but in a very uh, undeveloped way. So the fact that we see that people can be so diverse and each one of them so profoundly, uh, uh, as it were, blessed with these properties, and Mizeh Muchach, Shad Bina, we can see if a person can have such a profound Bina, you would think for sure he's got, he's a tremendous, you know, original thinker. No, Lav Davke, completely separate talents. So it's, it perforce we conclude, Sheyesh L'Sherish Miyuch HaBakaya HaMaskel. That Bina has its own Sherish in the, again, what's the Kaya HaMaskel? The Kech HaMaskel is, is that place where all ideas are born. It's the place of the Nefesh where, looking at the Nefesh, you can see that the human being is an intellectual creature. It's all you see. What does he understand? How he understands? What? Nothing is there. It's the potential for it all. Kech HaMaskel. Now, Zeo Pirish now he wants to say, having said this again, that Bina is also include, included in Aleph. So it, is, it looks like now there's a new Pirish in the statement of the Gemara in Shabbos that we started with this morning. Zeo Pirish, Maimar Gemara, Alef Bina, learn Bina. So what's the new Pirish? It seems. You know, when you say, Alev bina, learn bina, shagama bina nirmezes ba'is alef, so, again, I guess it's straightforward. You know, the, the word alef means learn, learn what? It's saying learn bina. So the very word alef is already saying bina. Is that kind of clear? That's the pshat. Alev bina. Now, Now he's saying the Kivan shall be in the Hamaskil. So now this is now an illusion now. What's the illusion? Since we just established that Bina has its own source in Kaycha Maskil, Gamkin Bishem Aleph. Therefore, it's also called Aleph. Now it seems the Pshat is Aleph again being the first primary. It's not simply, as we conventionally understand, Bina born from Chachma, but it has its own Shoirish. So it's also Aleph. So the meaning of the Gemara now, Aleph Bina is now, Bina is also an Aleph. Yeah, now it's kind of saying that Bina is also an Aleph. I think this is the Pshad, I'm not 100% sure. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Why not bring that? The, why, yeah. why not bring the pasuk? Yeah, I don't know. That's a stronger indication that Bina is called Aleph. Somehow not. So missing something here. In this statement, Aleph Bina, it is brought out even stronger. Or maybe it's not even brought out there. So to think about that further, I don't know. If anybody has any explanations, I'm happy to hear. Let's read further. Maybe we'll get some more insight. In addition to the fact that Bina's united with Chachm, and Chachm is called Aleph, and Gamma Bina Atzman in Shechis Mekoyach Hamaskel. Bina itself also comes from Mekoyach Hamaskel. Again, it seems to me that the point being that it's an Aleph, the, the Kvetch here is, it's primary and independent, not its first, in its own right, not only coming from Bina. It seems this is the Pshat Bamas is, but learn in Bina or try to, or we'll get more insight. Uh, that's a pipe dream. I'm not going to end up doing that. What? Sorry? No. Yeah. So you're saying what again? That so I'm saying that the It's on Shoyrish. But so why wouldn't you see it from the Pasuk? But in the past, would have said, Maybe since it says, Is it not Maramas that Bina has its own Shairish? Okay, I hear what you're saying. Hear what you're, hear what you're saying. It's a hard, yeah, okay, fine, and perhaps. All right, it's not. I, I'm not convinced that I understand the, how he's explaining the Gemara. How the Gemara is, Aleph Bina is conveying, I, learn Bina. Bina is described as being learned by Aleph, so it is Aleph. Mashu Kazer. Anyway, the bottom line we do have. The bottom line we have is that Bina is therefore called Aleph, and I think again, what that means is that it itself is a primary source. And moreover, moreover, is going to add now that its whole giloy happens in the way of Aleph. We, we identified the three Pratim and Aleph. This is true of Bina now. And the way Bina comes from Kaycha Maskil, Ugama Yadei Tzimtzum Asaydes, it's also through the pro process of the, of the Tzimtzum, the Asaydes. We explained this before. That this is right now how Aleph works. The middle line is Damshacha. That is the Amshacha, the, like the sidus, the hairs that come from the Shoirish. So the upper part of the of the Yud is the Kaycha Maskil. So Bina also emerges like like Chochmah does from the Kaycha Maskil to the same, the same dynamic, the same model, the process of Tzimtzum. Okay, like the, like the Zoya says, Avo, putting both together. Chochmah and Bina, the Mazlis Gilila, they're all included in Mazl, and Mazl seems to be here. A reference to the Kaycha Maskil. Equally, equally pointing to the Kaycha Maskil. Not that only Chachma comes from there, and then Bina then later is born from Chachma. But both of them have their Shadish in, in, in Mazel. But Lachin continues. You following this? Yes? Abba Ve'ima. Chachma Bina. But Lachin, Nirmez is Gamkin Ba'is Aleph. And therefore, he's saying it's a chiddushi that bin is also represented by the letter aleph, because it's born from the kaycha maskil, and then it has the hamshacha, the, the sidus, and then bin is born. That's the bottom part of the aleph. 
Shakoitsa Elian Humaki Nikra Sasidas. The upper stroke of the the upper point of the Aleph points to the source of 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 being which is the Kreikha Maskil. Then this the line of the Aleph is the Amshokha. And the bottom yud is manifested binas. So everything we said before about Aleph is also true of bin. So again, so what, what what's this all about? You know, so what is meant here? You see the end of the Maimi, but as we mentioned before, just I just put it in the context, the background over here. All to say that Rosh Hashanah, the Ibishti withdraws not only the 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 Nechachma, the vision of Ishtal Shalus, but even the whole Bina process, all of the details of Ishtal Shalus that Bina has developed, all of this is withdrawn. Rosh Hashanah, it's Amshacha Chadosha, in 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 in, in, the, in the most radical sense. Ah, from the because Kesa, Kesa, no, he's saying not that because since being uh, at his own Shoyeshen Karecha Maskal, it's true, it's true that Bina is only emerges through being Makabla from Chachma, but since it's had its own Shoyeshen Karecha Maskal, so the Abish should have truly withdraw to back to the Shoyesh. His whole expression of Ishtau Shalos, it's not just Chachm, it's been. I, I don't know if this is true, I'm going to say now, but it, it could mean it's Kreicha Bligvul and Kreicha Gvul. There are these two expressions of Elikus, Avay and Elikim, this binary, the whole Ishtau Shalos is built into the binary system of Ayat and Kali, Gvul and Bligvul. So what he's saying is that not only is it the withdrawal of, of the Ur, the Kaycha Bligvul, the revelation, Chachma, the burst of Chachma, but there's a withdrawal also of the Kaycha Gvul, of Bina, everything at its, at its Shoyrish. It's a whole renewal, a reset of everything. That the Chayr is what is all, what's going on over here. He's continuing the theme, he's continuing the theme from the end of the last Mimer, that everything is going back to its source. Even every avoda, even every everything, yeah, yeah. That the aleph, that was the whole, the whole thing started with the deer, the whole the the, the shaila. Tika b'chay the sheif b'kesel yom chageinu. So b'kesel is spelled with a hey. Its simple meaning is appointed time. Why is it spelled with an aleph? Like it, there's only one other example. It's a pasuk in iyuv. There it's spelled with an aleph. Answer, Timbaram is something else. Not only should you blow the shreif on the appointed time, which is the Gemara makes this point, which appointed time when the moon is concealed. Cast it with a hey. Tika Bachid doesn't say when in the Chaydash. What day of the month you blow the shreif, this pastor can tell him. The day when the moon is concealed. So that's why it's spelled with a hey. Sachsidis comes along and says that. Say with it. So now what, what comes out? Push it. So what's being covered? The deep rem is here that what's being covered, Rosh Hashanah, is Kesa with an Aleph. And what's that? It's the whole my modern explain that Aleph is Echad. And that's the Mamutza between, between Yochid and Vayat. And this is what Abish is withdrawing. Now the Maim is probing deeper and deeper into this withdrawal that happens in Rosh Hashanah. Not only in the Kudus HaChachm, HaChachm Estimo, not only HaChachm Estimo, HaChachm Agluya, it's a Chesed Lo Alofim. The two levels of Aleph. And now, not only is Abish should withdraw like the original vision, but it's a total withdrawal even of Bina. Now, why wouldn't Bina anyway be withdrawn when Chach was withdrawn? If Bina is simply born, if you pull the plug, as it were, on, on Chachma, then, then Bina disappears. No. Bina is its own Shoyrish. Kaycha Gvul has its own Shoyrish and Kaycha Maska. So therefore, even Bina is withdrawn. And that too, we are learning, is also conveyed in the letter Aleph. And perhaps the Pshat is, Aleph means the first level. Bina is also a first level. It's not simply born of Chachma. Pardon? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
He hasn't answered that yet. Now it's going to be answered. We're going to see Oisa and Loitz is coming now. He hasn't answered. Me. Now starts the answer to that question. Let's just review the question. The question is, there seems to be a contradiction. One Pesach says, in you give me the Sarachamim, it's, let's review that. No, it's a chesed lo alofim. So what's chesed? Let, let's, no, help me here, friends. Chesed is the amshocha chesed atzmi that the Abish to reveal to the outset of creation. To, in order to create, it was all a, an act of pure chesed. It was no avoid of the tachni. So no, it's a chesed lo alofim. So the aleph is chachma. So the chachma no, it's gave all these Pirushim, Noitzer through Tzimtzum, Noitzer, that's that's the Tzinner, Noitzer's Oisius Rotzen, and Noitzer also means preserve, and preserve implies the idea of not open manifested Giloy, but something is preserved and only meted out later. That's the nature of Chachma. Chachma is the vision that remains always, like, you know, behind the scenes. And the noitzer is to ensure that Amshacha should be where it should be and not in Klippa. Tzinur, they wish as Rotsen, they should be Yom Shachlamata, finished. That's the meaning of noitzer, chesed la lofi. The example of the barrel, etc. So, What's the alafim lashen rabim? Chach mestima, chach magluya. So how are these re revealed? It's through the noitzer, through the process of tzimtzum. Both of them remain, even chach magluya, chach matzilus remains uh, obscured in the background from the hamshacha which follows. Certainly chach mastuma. Then the pasuk is vayse chesed lalafim. Vayse, vayse is the opposite of noitzer. Which is to preserve and simtsum and, and the rots and alien is the matter. Why? Because Isa means, he says, Gemara Tikkun, the full development. So Isa implies Giloi. Isa Chesed La Lofim. Here the Aleph is Begoloi. Noitza Chesed, Noitza Chesed La Lofim. The Aleph is Noitza, is hidden and is a simtsum in the whole. All implied by the word Noitza. But Isa Chesed implies Giloi. The answer is going to be. That noitzer chesed is chokhma, the aleph, uh, the alafim is chokhma, but bina, which is a more manifested state, that's taka oisa, that's taka revealed, and that is also withdrawn, and being nimshach. That's the general answer. Now we're going to see the pratim. Is that clear? Now let's see inside. So already at five. Let's we'll start. The, we'll start the oisa. Uh, let me just say. Gentlemen, very happy to, to see everybody. It's recorded for posterity. It gives it gives the highest hope to you, and I just want to tell you, it gives a big highest to me. And I might add, as I'm sure it is for you, starting the day learning chassidus gives the highest to the whole day, and a whole it's a whole different uh, foundation. So I want to thank you for that. So let's just read a few ayes here. So for Zehu, Pirish Voy, Sechesed La Lofim, Shekoil Al Abino. Now that we've explained that Aleph refers not only to Chachma, but that Bino also has its Shredish and Kaycha Maskil. So Aleph also refers to Bino. Now the term is Oise, he makes, that we said before, Oise, Koil Agmar, Am Shachava Giloi. Oise implies already the complete revelation, a manifested revelation. Okay, let's leave this for tomorrow as he zeroes in on the word Asiya and what that means, and that's Bina, because Bina is the development. So all of this is also withdrawn to be continued tomorrow.